Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 21st to the 31st. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do a Celtic cross, you guys. Let's see. What love messages do we have for Sagittarius for the 21st through the 31st? Sagittarius. The energy that is around you guys is a Queen of Wands. Um, Scorpio just got this same energy um, for being around them currently. You guys may be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but more so than that, this is somebody I feel that is very confident in what they have going on. Um, this is a, a queen that, whether male or female, that um, has a lot of responsibilities, okay? Uh, very attractive, I feel. Likes to travel. Likes to um, initiate things, okay? Let's see what's crossing you guys here. And it could be another Aries or Leo Sagittarius fire sign energy like you guys here. Now what's crossing you is the hanged man. Hmm. This is this is an energy of feeling stuck. Feeling like there's nothing that I can do to change a situation. And that's so unlike um, fire energy because and I am an Aries we don't like to feel like our hands are tied and there's a situation I feel that um, is, is kind of getting to you guys okay it's almost like you're you're feeling a little out of your element or either this is someone else that is feeling that you know there's nothing that they can do to change a situation with you guys Piscean energy okay let's see the underlying issue here hmm it's the ace of wands the underlying issue is somebody does not know how to spark this thing off how to initiate um, a new situation here with you and vice versa or vice versa rather um, there's nothing being said there's nothing being spoken but there's definitely an energy of wanting to to start something new there's an opportunity or was an opportunity to start something new here but I feel that there is an energy that is holding this situation up from moving forward Let's see what was going on in the recent past for you guys here. The devil. You have three cards that Scorpio also had. Okay. Um, this is Capricorn energy. Hmm. And this is like feeling very attached to someone. Um, I'm getting there. There's somebody here that had some anger issues. Um, there's somebody that does not like to feel like they are um, wrong in any way. Okay. Definitely. There, this, I'm feeling like there's somebody that wants the other person to make the first move. And they're basically sitting back and saying, I'm not doing anything. They're going to come to me. But um, I'm getting that both of you are very, very strong. Okay. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Four of Cups. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I could care less. Okay. I'm not going to make the first move. I'm not going to play up to them. I'm not going to run behind them. That energy. Cancer energy there. I'm feeling like you guys feel as though you've done enough. That you're always the one that initiates things. That you're always the one that tries to make things right. 
I'm feeling like you were dealing with somebody that probably had um, some anger issues or has some anger issues. What's coming in for my Sagittarius? The tower, some very shocking news. Something's gonna rock your the way that you think, um, the way that you've been doing things. You know, it's not gonna feel good when it's happening, but it's happening to to bring about some positive changes in your life. Okay, because there may be an instance here where you know you were dealing with somebody that you know definitely had some anger issues that you shared a toxic relationship with before in the past. But, um, you know, it, it takes two to basically tango. And sometimes we have to let go of control issues on both parts. Especially if um, there are some changes to ensue here. Okay. Scorpio energy there. Let's see how you guys are feeling about this situation. Seven of Wands, very defensive, very defensive. Um, you believe what you believe, you know what you know, and it's like, you know what? Um, I was getting ready to cuss, but I'm not. It's like, forget it. You know, I've done everything that I can do. I'm moving forward. I'm not allowing anybody to change my mind, um, to change what I believe. I am establishing boundaries here. And I kind of feel like... Um, you guys have this blocked energy where this person is concerned and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to be honest with you because I'm feeling that um, it, it may have taken a while for you to feel this strong I'm feeling like you guys were knocked down a lot before and you've been working really hard to to gain your self confidence and now you have like this this block up and and really probably not allowing this person to um, communicate with you maybe not physically but there's there's an energy I feel that you guys are um, probably putting off because you've been hurt okay that wanted to flip let's see the influence here yeah is a nine of swords you've had way too many sleepless nights over this situation I feel that there's somebody else here that's now going through those sleepless nights feeling like all is lost in this situation. I don't feel like all is lost in this situation though, but um, there definitely needs to be an awakening. Um, somebody need, needing to take basically the veil off and see um, things for what they really are because this is somebody that's thinking a whole lot of crap that's not true. Okay, making things a whole lot worse than what they really are. I'm getting that there's somebody, the other person in this situation, um, could be a, a Gemini energy here too, Leo, but I'm thinking the other person feels like, um, you know, their behavior in the past has ruined things. And I definitely don't feel like it was good for the relationship, the connection. But I don't feel like all is lost in this situation. Let's see. Sagittarius hopes or fears. Five of Wands. You just don't want any more conflict. You don't want to fight anymore. You just want to be happy and stable and grounded. You want to be successful, I feel like in your personal life, in your personal endeavors, um, you're blocking this energy of having, possibly having conflict with this person. You know what it is that you want and what you believe and, and I feel like energetically you're blocking this energy but I'm feeling that Somebody's breaking out. Somebody is is waking up. Whoever this individual is. I don't see any movement. But the energy the energy is such that there's something that's getting ready to happen um, to shake up 
this situation so it can move forward. Let's see the overall. What's the overall outcome here? Look at this. Three of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. I feel like this person is definitely waiting on you. They're waiting on you. But I feel that you would like to see something different in your life. You would like to have something different, something new um, to come into your life. Something that's going to wake up your spirit. Um, and I do feel like that's coming. I do feel like that something is coming um, with this tower energy here. Okay. This person may approach you, may call you and, um, you know, just tell you how they feel, how they're thinking. Um, but I get that this person is kind of scared to contact you. Okay. So we have Cancer, Aries, Leo, um, Gemini, Scorpio, maybe another Sagittarius like yourself, Piscean energy and Capricorn. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon.